part of my job. I get to ride a different bike every week. Outstanding. Oh yeah, man. I can ride all day. Now, how long have you had this bike? Um, man, since 97, believe it or not. Really? That's great. Man, I appreciate you letting me ride it. We've got a few more stops. This ride is basically set up like a poker run. So every time you stop, you get a raffle ticket. There you go. Gotta get my ticket. Get ticket. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and then once we get to our final destination, they're gonna raffle off some cash prizes. So I think it's 12 years they've been doing this Make-A-Wish ride. And the turnout is unbelievable. One of the neat things about the Make-A-Wish Foundation is it has a lot of deep roots surrounding the biker culture. The very first wish that was granted to a kid was by a motorcycle cop out of Arizona. There was a kid that dreamt of being on the show Chips, the California Highway Patrol. In 1980, we're going back a long time, as a uh, highway patrol officer for the Arizona Highway Patrol. And we worked with the state of Arizona, worked with the kids a lot, and uh, I was introduced to a little boy named Chris, seven years old, who was a big fan of chips. Unfortunately, Chris had leukemia, and they told us he only had a couple weeks to live. His mother, their friends, a the doctor says, can you do anything special for Chris? Can you maybe make him a highway patrolman? So with the permission of our commanders and the highway patrol, we did better than that. We made Chris an honorary Arizona Highway Patrol motorcycle officer. But the day started for Chris, he was got permission for us to land our helicopter at his hospital, fly him to our headquarters, and when he landed, that's the first time I met Chris. This little guy, yay tall, I expected our paramedics to help, help him out of the helicopter. Instead, here comes this little boy running over there, hi, I'm Chris, the high five, jumped on the motorcycle and started telling me all about my motorcycle. But he was fascinated by the wings on our uniform shirts. How do I become a motorcycle officer? Well, Chris, we explained the training. If only you had a motorcycle, we could tra train you right now. Chris was a step ahead of us. He ran in the house, came out with a little battery-operated motorcycle that his mother had got for him in place of a wheelchair. So we set up the traffic cones, he zoomed through it. Chris, you're official now. When do I get my wings? That's what he was interested in now. Again, those were custom made. And I said, I'm gonna order them. We did that immediately. Two days later, the wings were ready. But at that same time, I received a phone call that Chris was in the hospital, in a coma. He wasn't expected to live through the day. I went to the hospital. His uniform was hanging right by his bed. Just as I pinned on the wings, Chris came out of that coma. He looked over, he saw that uniform, he saw the wings. He just started smiling and laughing. Am I a Highway Patrol motorcycle? Yes, you are, Chris. You're an official officer. He just giggled and talked to his mom. He had the greatest time for a couple hours, and unfortunately, he passed away just a few hours after that. Chris was buried in uniform, the Arizona State flag covering his casket. Full honors for our highway patrol officer. Wow. Chris's gravesite reads, Chris Gracious, Arizona trooper. Coming back from Chicago, from Illinois, I just got to thinking, this little boy, he was so ill, but just because he was getting his wish, why couldn't we do that for other children? Let's let them make a wish, and we'll make it happen. And that's what the idea, how it started with Make-A-Wish Foundation, all because of one little boy. That's truly remarkable.
This is the school that my daughter, Natalia, used to go to. And that's when Make-A-Wish, thanks to them, I was able to have my daughter through Christmas, through Thanksgiving, and through her birth. Coming up, Jay Barberry and Ricky Kelly finish up their ride through the Natchez Trail with a photo shoot for Cool Springs Harley Davidson. Today's progressive insurance trivia question is, what year did Harley Davidson introduce the road glide? there's a very special reason this particular school is one of our stops on the ride this morning. Tell me about it. This is the school that my daughter, Natalia, used to go to. This is basically, she got started first grade when she was diagnosed with, uh, with a brain tumor. And community, the school has given us so much support that now it's our turn to hopefully put that little seed in the child. Make a wish, uh, when they gave my daughter two months, when this was diagnosed, we could make a wish. They sent us to the beach, they sent us to Cancun. And I strongly believe that among all the support that we have received from the community and from everybody, it was that trip that gave my daughter seven more months. So if you ask me, make a wish, if I can raise one daughter to enable another kid and another family to have that, hands down, I'll do it. And there is absolutely no price. Oh no, it, it, it's absolutely priceless. All of you putting us, you know, doing all this stuff. Isn't it great to see hundreds of bikers show up and support Let me tell you something. I have just gone bike shopping this morning. <laughs> I'm like, I like this, You've I like been this. By I, the bug, my yes, man. That's absolutely. without a doubt. So believe me, I have already gone in a, in a year. I probably, you know, we're going to be riding it. So, th so that, that's my goal now. Good for you. So, Edgar, thank you for sharing your story with hey, us. Hey, thank you guys for coming it's around. Welcome to, to Fresno and thanks, thank you so much for being here. You got it, bro. means a lot. Thanks. All right, thank you. By far, one of the most bitchin' parts of my job is the fact that every weekend, I get to jump on a different motorcycle. Well, for this ride, I get three times the fun. I've been able to switch out bikes at every checkpoint, get on a different monster and hit the road. I've gone from longhorn bars to pullback bars and now I'm on ape hangers. Man, this is the way you do a ride. You know, when we left the rodeo grounds this morning, we were all in t-shirts, short sleeves. Then we made a couple of stops. Guys started putting on their long sleeve shirts. Now everybody is completely leathered up. We are definitely in the mountains. We're up in the Sierras. And I gotta tell you, the temperature has dropped at least 25, 30 degrees, and it continues to get cooler. Now I know why there's so many people that show up to this ride every year. You know, this is just some of the most picturesque. We've got great sweeping turns through here. The riding is great. A couple of hairpins. I mean, it's just a great day to be in the saddle of a bike. So we are up in the Sierra Mountains right now. Our destination is Shaver Lake. And from what everyone's been telling me, it just has spectacular views and vistas. So I'm looking forward to it.
guys all heard we got Colby Donaldson here. The trooper all the way. American Thunder. Yeah. One thing we gotta remember, these kids that are sick and dealing with this stuff, I'm glad to see you guys could deal with it too. We're glad we made it up here. We're gonna have Colby draw for the raffle bike, that Ron Sims bike. So hopefully everybody's got their tickets. Are we ready? Let's do it. We have a drum roll. Here we go. Can we spin the wheel good? Break it up. Here it comes. Henry, who? Hopefully it's one of you guys out here. Who we got? On the air, Laura. Are you over here? No, no. The firefighter going to get this guy all washed up. Well, here's the ticket. Thank you so much. After we granted our first official wish, we had about $15 left. Who came to me for the first fundraiser ever but the motorcycle group? And for 30 years now, almost, you guys have been supporting us. And thank you so much. Here we go. <laughs> So the 13th annual Rumble to the Summit is finally coming to a close. I've had a blast. I've gotten to ride several bikes on the way up here. We went through some beautiful country. We all raised a ton of money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And hell, we even gave away a Ron Sims custom bike. What more can you ask? So it's time for me to head back to LA. See you later.